sorry you guys my last video just cut off so this is going to be part two of um, optimizing your computer we were last at the device manager and we were um, disabling the ethernet driver so now I want you guys to um, disable the um, service uh, the Windows update service so what you're going to do now is press the Windows key on your keyboard and the R key on the keyboard at the same time hit it once this this box right here to the left in the lower left corner is going to pop up what you're going to do is type this here services.msc type within this box S-E-R-V-I-C-E-S -E -E period M-S-C you're going to press enter this window is going to pop up what you're going to do now is scroll all the way down excuse me scroll all the way down and go to windows update now right click it left click left click properties select disabled you're going to press apply you're going to press ok my apply button is not highlighted because I've already disabled and applied the, the um, command for the service to be disabled you're going to press OK. You got to close out of this. Now, the reason why you should disable Windows Update is because Windows Update takes up resources, it takes away from your RAM, and it slows your computer down sometimes. And plus, if your computer is downloading updates, it's taken away from the bandwidth of your internet, which means your computer will not only slow down, but your internet will slow down too, depending upon your connection. Now the next thing we're going to go to is using a basic Windows theme. This is going to save random access memory also. And the way you um, use, a, use a theme, the way you enable a Windows Classic theme is by right clicking any empty space on the desktop, left click personalize, scroll down you may not need to scroll down no you don't because everything is right here as soon as it pops up well that's if you have a pretty a decent sized screen I believe um, on your Windows uh, computer or laptop so we're going to press classic it's going to automatically apply, it, apply itself the theme to the system and then you're going to have a plain um, screen desktop it's not going to look this way it's going to look more grayish down here everything is going to look like a medium dark gray color it's not going to be very attractive although it's not very attractive it saves on random access memory you're going to save um, energy on your computer you're going to be able to do more things at once uh, videos are, uh, on the internet are going to be playing faster programs are going to download faster you're going to be able to transfer things quicker to your external hard drive, your USB, your USB drive, your SD card, or whatever device you may have temporarily attached to your computer. Now I'm, I'm ending the tutorial on that portion of the computer. Oh no, oh, excuse me, of the video. Excuse me, guys. I got my words mismatched. It's about two twenty something in the morning. I'm tired, so I'm getting a lot of things out of the way at once. All right. So we did the um, use the basic thing. Also, you can disable the arrow feature of your Windows. Arrow is basically another visual way of seeing your desktop. I really use it. I use it so I don't really use it so much. Like I forgot how to uh, activate arrow, but I know how to dis I know how to de disable it. What you're gonna do is right click the start button press properties it's in here somewhere arrow arrow here it is you're gonna go right here preview desktop with arrow peak right here you're gonna press where the X is at use arrow peak to preview desktop for some reason mine is not letting me press it it's just crossed out I guess I'm Maybe it's like that. Oh, I know what it is. I set my my um theme up like that. 
to have the arrow peak disabled at all times. So when you get through disabling that, pressing this box right here with the X and the, um, the lower, the lowest part of the window, you press OK. The arrow feature should be disabled, therefore saving you RAM. The last thing I'm going to show you is to defra defragment and clean the hard drive, which is going to make your hard drive perform fast with your computer. So you're going to press the start menu once again, press computer, right click local disk, left click properties, press disk cleanup. And sometimes it takes a, a while to load because it's looking for all the files that your um, computer doesn't need to clean off. If the computer doesn't need so that it can clean it's the, the files off. I'm going to cancel it. So I don't know how long it's going to take for mine. I'm trying to do things as quick as possible. I'm tired and I don't think you guys need to all uh, to see the, how I clean my computer. I don't think it's important. Just as long as you guys get the basics, you know what to do when it's time for you to clean yours. So then when you want to defragment, you go to the tools tab and you press this defragment, bu defragment now button. You select the C drive and you select defragment disk. Now depending on how big your drive is and how, mu how much, how many things you have on there, Defragmenting your drive can take, I don't know, 10 minutes to 6 hours, maybe even 8 hours, maybe a whole day, depending on how fast your computer runs. Okay? So, that's all I have to show you for now. Also, if you want an avatar like Geeky Chicky has on her website, her Facebook page, and her YouTube page, just go to pickaface.net. And you'll be able to create an avatar that looks just like you or just close enough. That's all you guys. That's all I have to teach you for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Once again, I am Geeky Chicky. Like me on Facebook. Add, subscribe, comment. Don't forget, if you need help, you can always come back to my page. You can message me in my personal inbox. You can email me and you can request that I build a video, that I make a video especially for you. Have a good one, you guys.